Today, we're gonna tour the ultimate Oceania Zoo. So my last video kind of blew up. And as promised, here is the long awaited tour video. I have put so much more work into this map than you saw in that previous video. I went through all of the nitty gritty stuff, adding to every single area, making sure everything was perfect and ready to be released to you guys on the Steam Workshop. So go ahead and check the description of this video where you'll find the link to the Steam download page as well as the blueprints I used in making this zoo. Without further ado, let's jump into the tour. Well, here we are at the Oceania Zoo. We are gonna take the little tour now so I can show you around the place. It is a beautiful sunny day, 109 degrees Fahrenheit out. What a perfect day for a zoo trip. So let's get started, shall we, and go get our ticket. All right, now that we've got our ticket, we can admire the beautiful entrance that came out of here. Wow, I wonder who made that. Pretty sweet, right? I mean, look at those columns. This tower was inspired by a picture on Pinterest, uh, which I, I haven't been able to find, but I wanted there to be this like glass tower thing just to really to catch the eye. And here we are with a new and improved entrance plaza. I know you guys have not seen this before. There have been quite a few changes since we last left off in the build video for the Oceania zoo. Uh, so these planters here are a blueprint. A lot of the planters that you'll see around the zoo, I just plopped down some quick blueprints of them uh, just because I thought they looked really good. I wanted to incorporate them. There's a nice tropical feel. So we'll go up and see our first animal. Uh, it's not the crocodile though. This is a fun statue. I wish you could jump in this, but see you could like stand on them. Uh, get your picture taken, right? Dang, everybody has a hat. I need to get one of these. As I mentioned in the last video, our first animal is the wombat. Who doesn't love a good wombat, honestly? They are just some of the cutest animals, in my opinion. Their habitat, I think, is still one of my favorites out of all of them I built, even though it is the first. Uh, I think it's just because the general shape flows so nicely. Like you have this nice arch that they can walk through. They've got lots of open space and just a really simple but cute house. Uh, you can see that's actually the base game thatch uh, because I made this before the DLC came out. Though so we are going to go ahead and go this way here past these shops towards the dingo and the quokka, according to the sign. These rock walls here are a blueprint, another one that is a staple throughout the zoo. We've got some bathrooms here, easy to go into, nice fake thatch roof. Hopefully they're clean, we're not gonna go find out because they probably aren't, knowing my staff here. So here we are approaching our second animal, this is a dingo. Another fun habitat. You can actually see it uh, from the wombat habitat. It's hard to see them, but there is a secondary viewing up here. And this is where you can kind of overlook the entrance plaza. So right through there, you can see the back of the wombat habitat. But here are these little doggies. Look at them go. I mean, don't you just love a day at the zoo? I mean, come on, this is pretty great, guys, right? Don't you just love seeing this? What, how are you? Are you bored? What are you looking at your hands for? Yeah, see these these people are entertained. Now we're walking over to the quokka habitat. I love them. Okay, let's be real. I love almost all the habitats here. So I'm probably gonna say that about every single one. But how could you not like any of the habitats? Are you- you're hopping so fast. What? He's like- Sprint hopping. Am I- is the game moving? No, the game's not moving fast. He's just fast. Little Lightning McQueen over there. Get into that barrel. This is a small one. I mean, these guys are just so tiny. Oh, here comes another one! Look at him go! You- you push that barrel, guys. Good job. Great habitat all around. Lots of space. In fact, I actually wish that there were more quokkas in here if I'm gonna be honest. They even have these little shelters. There's more than enough room. Honestly, whoever's- are you on top of the- he was on top of the roof. You're gonna cook yourself, all right? That's like an oven up there. You don't go back on that roof. You're gonna burn your feet. Get down from there. Oh my god, guys, look away. He, he's gonna start smoking. He's dead for sure. I have changed up some of the pathing around here to the new Oceania pack, uh, path, and here we've got the wallabies. Another great habitat. Love the view for their little house over there. Just so cute, so simple, but so effective. 
And over here on the opposite side, we've got the saltwater crocodile. And thank you for posing there for us. He's shaking his head. He's like, no, don't talk to me. Why, why is he moving like a broken Five Nights at Freddy's character? Chat, is this real? What are you guys running for? Man, everyone's in such a hurry. She's running too. Is that your group? Are they running away from you? Or no, maybe these people are chasing her? What is with all the running, guys? Like, come on, do I need to put a sign up? But anyways, here's the nice view of the wallabies. I like this one better. The wallabies, they don't hang out over there as much. They, they're kind of just here, and I, I don't mind it so much. You get a nice view of them up on the hill there. They're always sleeping. Come on. Do something. Or stop. Is he, is he jumping or is he levitating? I can't tell. This game loves to glitch when I'm showing it off. I swear I like don't have these issues when I'm building. It's, it's just when I want to show you guys what I'm building. Up we go onto the boardwalk. This is a fun section of the zoo. What we're going to be seeing here is a massive overview of the saltwater crocodile habitat. So you can see their whole pool. Maybe we can find the other one. Because there are two crocodiles in here. You also just get to like view the nice beautiful forest that's surrounding this area. Really, really love the boardwalk. You can kind of see a sneak peek of where we're headed to the zoo. This is all new. Like you guys did not see this in the last video. So very, very fun sneak peek. Same with that over there. Ooh, what could that be? We're gonna look away, because it's my tour. Ooh, there's the big one again. Ooh, is it gonna swim under us? Yes, okay, let's see. On the other side here, there's a waterfall. See if the crocodile comes out here, maybe? Come on, it would be so cool. Yes! Let's go, come on, get, get out under the bridge. Oh, he's doing the shaky thing. He just shook his head at us again. This crocodile is literally so rude. And still, we've only seen the big one. Oh no, they're both big ones. Wow. I, I thought just one of them was a big one. No, they're, they're both huge. The, the animatronic one is still over there. So I think we only have one real one and this one's just kind of broken. But I mean, just look at their habitat. Don't you want to take a dip in that water? Don't mind how dangerous it is. That just looks mad refreshing on a hundred degree day like today. Now we're coming to the end of the boardwalk here. We can see this is the tunnel that, that goes under. Oh no, hold on, we're stuck. Why are we stuck? I think someone like tried to prank us and put glue on the boardwalk. They just put like a long strip and now we, we sticky glued ourselves. The real ones know what I'm talking about. All right, let's uh... Hold on. Give me a second. Oh, that's not the button I wanted. That looks nice though, but not what I wanted to do. Okay, that should hopefully work now. <laughs> yes, we're back on track, guys. Just in time for the koalas. Look at this one. He's like sitting like a squirrel. I mean, I guess, are these not the squirrels of Australia? I don't know, you tell me. Oh my god, yes, he's up in the tree. Hold on, we gotta see this. That is the money shot right there. That is great. This is exactly what I wanted. Look at this guy just minding his own business. Can you guys not stand in front of me? Anyways, look at the beauty of this animal. This guy's- I- I don't know if this one's okay. He's- he's kind of staring at the ground. On the other side, we actually have another koala habitat. That's a blueprint, by the way. They never use it. They can get up there, but look, he's just chilling like- under it. He he doesn't care. He he doesn't want to be seen. He's having a hard time. But these guys, again, they're in the perfect spot. Thank you, koalas. I appreciate you guys. But you can see they have access to an indoor area. Don't mind the Z fighting there. We're going to pan away. They have access to the indoor area. The koalas on the other side do not. Um, so... It is implied that the keepers will collect them and take them inside every night. Now, I doubt that my keepers would do that because as I've learned from my 100 years of Planet Zoo uh, stream series, the keepers in this game like to not do their jobs because, oh, I, I don't have a staff room. Ooh, you're not paying me. Ooh, you know, just just silly stuff like that. This guy seems to be doing his job, though. Or, or not. He's nope. 
you just came and like looked at his iPad pretending to work right in front of the boss, huh? Why don't we come down and, and take a little view of of the indoor viewing? It's not the prettiest furnishings inside, but it does the trick. But I do love the outside. I mean, look at all the greenery. You know, on the outside, not on the inside. No, no greenery on the inside. Concrete floors for you, you beasts. But we have some beautiful climbing frames here. Uh, courtesy of the workshop, because I cannot build climbing frames. But very, very nice. We're going to take a quick little detour over here as we do our loop to some of the classic Aussie animals. We got the emus and that's right. We got the kangaroos. There's one. I was hoping he'd be center frame, but this will do again. A very, a very, uh, you know, nice habitat. They've got a decent amount of space. There's the big guy. He's sleeping. I love the emus. They're so active. Oh, and that guy's jumping. Thank you for doing something for the camera. I was fortunate enough to do this habitat after the pack came out. So you can see I used the new pieces and made this like cool woven uh, uh, thatch barn thing. It, it's not furnished on the inside. But again, this this map is taking quite a long time to load. Okay, this what is up with the animals and their weird jumping? <laughs> like, do you guys- did you see that? Look, this one's doing it now! This- this game is haunted. We're gonna leave before we get, you know, a poltergeist in here. We're gonna go back around this way, and we're actually gonna go under where we came. See if there's any friends over here. No, this is the other side of the wombat habitat, by the way. This is kind of like the, the wombat cafe area. You can have a seat, watch the wombats come through. I am getting pretty hungry. Does anyone want any fries? You have like four seconds to order. Yeah, I'll take the, the large fry, please. Thank you. Ten dollars for french fries? Are you- are you kidding me? Where does that money go? I better be getting a solid pound of french fries for ten dollars, okay? Look. Guys, I'm sorry. I, I am not paying for your french fries. I'm not paying for them. I'm not spending $20 on fries. You can pay for your own stuff. So that's where we came from, the koala area. But now we're going to go this way. So this is under the bridge. Uh, we're not going to go live under here. That would not be permitted in my zoo. But see, that's kind of where we came from. That's the boardwalk area. Go under here to this nice area and ooh... What is that in the distance? I see something new, something special, something specially made with the new Oceania pieces. That's right, folks. Welcome to the Kiwi Hotel. This stunning piece of architecture is a brand new major upgrade to the park since the last video dropped. I did build this off camera, but I think it is just wonderful. I knew I had to do a hotel in here and you'll see why. I had a suggestion from one of my friends to build something, which we'll go see in a second. I, I think it's pretty rad. Um, I love the tall round buildings. And judging how the fries here cost $10, I think this would probably cost a small fortune to stay in. So we're not going to stay in there. However, we are going to take a tour at the special item in the back. Now, don't mind that it's not furnished in here, okay? I need to save on pieces, and also I didn't want to. But if we come back here... Ooh! Ah! We've got a pool area and patio. Chairs are workshop blueprints. But look at that! I mean, I would pay a fortune to stay here, wouldn't you guys? I mean, come on! I may be being paid to advertise the place, but I think this is worth the $600 a night. And what's that in the pool? That's right, folks. That there is a swim up tiki bar. Thank you to my friend Apic for suggesting this. I can't believe I didn't think of it myself, but now your suggestion has been built. And we are going to order from this very rude worker who's not acknowledging that we're here trying to give him money. I mean, what is it with the staff in these places, huh? At least this guy seems happy in attending. And let's see, what does this place look like at night? Lots of lights here. Oh yeah, that's the vibe for sure. Imagine going for a nice little swim. And then boom. 
Tiki Bar, watch your favorite TV show. The Cosmic Cow Milkshakes ad. That's that's one of my favorite shows. I watch every single season. Heartbreaking, tragic ending. After a lovely evening at the bar, let's swim back over to the main part of the patio. And no, I'm not gonna dry off before going back inside the hotel. I am a menace to society. Exiting the Kiwi Hotel. I am going to miss this place. Uh, if you guys use the coupon code STINKY in the comments, you actually get 15% off on the hotel. You're welcome, you're welcome. Also, don't don't tell the managers I gave you that code. They're not gonna like that. They're, they're losing money rapidly. Now, as we go by the hotel, we have our little blue penguin area. This is another new building, complete with bathrooms and penguin statue whoa and more uh, workshop planters again kudos to the people who made this all the workshop links in the description but look at him go yes this habitat is huge but it is atmospheric and they can deep dive which is super cool to see so i am loving this like look at them go look they're playing with a little submarine However, this is not the only viewing for the little blue penguin, so why don't we... I just phased inside a building. So why don't we go back up to the surface and tour the rest of the area, and I mean, look at that view. Alright, we got this little bridge here. This leads to the night house, but we're not going to go there just yet. I'll show you guys the little waterfall, just so you know where we're at. So up there... On top of the waterfall, that's the saltwater crocodile exhibit. You can't really see through the waterfall, obviously, because of the raging rapids, but they can swim right up to the edge there, hence the, the mesh gate. And what we're actually going to do is follow this little creek. So we're going to walk alongside the little creek here, and we're going to go see the other viewing to the little blue penguins. I mean, isn't that just so peaceful? So peaceful. Look how lush the foliage is. You get a nice view of the penguin building. That's right, folks. This is a four-story toilet building. Oh, and it looks like we did get glued to the ground again. I think I need to hire more security guards because clearly there is a prankster on the loose. But look at him go. I love this little blue penguin habitat. I don't care that this building is way too big for them. It is a statement piece. They have their little statues and a rubber ducky, which is actually quite a bit bigger than the penguins. Look at the penguin compared to the rubber ducky. That is like five times their size. Maybe they're scared of it. I, I would be terrified. Could you imagine if someone put a human five times your own size, like in your house? Absolutely stunning views of the whole area around us. Here we have another new addition. This time, it is none other than the Australian sea lion. Now, this is not in the vanilla planet zoo. However, this is using a species mod. This is not using any prop mods. This whole zoo is completely vanilla. So you can download it from the workshop without any problems. I do recommend you download the animal mods, which will be listed in the description for the zoo, just so you get the full experience. If not, that's okay. It won't affect your game at all. You can just, you know, pretend that we're seeing the sea lions. You just won't get the actual experience of seeing them. We have our two ladies over here enjoying their shade structure. That is one that I made that uh, will be used throughout the zoo. You've probably already seen it a couple of times, actually, uh, used throughout the zoo, and it is honestly one of my most versatile blueprints. And then we got the male sea lions just racing around here. They are super fast, and they love pushing their little bowling pin thing around. Moving on to the next habitat, you can see the little statues. I know that's a seal, just pretend it's a sea lion. The sea lion wasn't flexi color. We have a little playground. This is a very popular blueprint on the Steam Workshop. Love it nonetheless. Gotta have an area for the crotch goblins to play, always. And I wonder what our next animal is gonna be. Is it this terrifying Muppet creature from hell? I guess we'll find out. That's right, folks. You guessed it. It's the... Cassowary! 
It shares a house with a little blue penguin, if you guys remember from the build video. And it's quite shy, so hopefully... There it is. It did decide to show its face for us today. Beautiful creatures. They make all sorts of weird sounds. I absolutely love them, and I love how lush this habitat is. It looks like we came here at the perfect time to get a view of this creature, because I think it does like to hang out inside of its building a lot. Directly opposite to the cassowary is the Tasmanian Devil. You can see it's situated in a shady forested habitat. I did put a roof on this thing uh, because it was originally going to be part of the night house, but it ended up just, you know, scrapping that idea uh, just because, well, I didn't want to make the night house bigger and I didn't want this whole area to be underground, but I still gave it a lot of cover so they could have a lot of shade and, and be out of the sun. You see this guy... This one is, is frog leg in it, right out in the sun. My dog does that, actually, uh, which is funny to think about. But there are patches to let the light in, obviously, and to let the taller trees grow through. Now we're moving on to the true essence of the night house. So we've looped all the way back around that little out jut with the more aquatic areas. And here we are. We're back at the bridge, back at the saltwater crocodile viewing and into the night cave. Now this one, we do have to turn it to nighttime so you can see it in here because it's pretty, it's got to be pretty dark for the full effect. And my my, here are the flying foxes. You can see they've got some trees in the background. It looks like we're kind of on a rocky cave-like surface. This one is just based on every cliche bat zoo habitat. Uh, it's not walkthrough. You may think it's walkthrough. It's not. You can't go in there, okay? Don't try. That's for staff only, okay? If you go in there, you will be shot on sight. But you can just see them flying around, eating their fruit, you know, just doing their bat things. Uh, I think that the... Wh Sir? What is the security guard doing in there? It's supposed to be just for keepers. I know I said staff, but I didn't mean like... It I what was that? Hey! Security! I need to fire- who- what is your badge number, sir? I need to fire that man. Next up, we got the Kiwi. Here we go, and they are, as always, having their disco party. I was told this looked like a Kiwi cult, and I do appreciate the compliments. Uh, it's probably due to this glaring red light. But look at him go, he's boogieing. He absolutely boogied with that ball right there in front of his majestic leader. It is a pretty small habitat, but the ones that I saw in real life honestly looked a lot smaller. I know I mentioned that in the video, but this is, you know, I think it's more fun. It's it's definitely not realistic. None of the, none of the habitats in here are realistic. Let's be real here. There's like realism elements in the design, but this is a fantasy zoo and that's how I like it. I don't, I don't build realistic zoos. Before we go into the platypus cove, we are going to look at the exhibit. We got the Death Adder. And finally, we got the Blue Tongue Skink. Let's see. There they are right there. Let's see the snake. The snake is in here under the heat lamp. Very nice. Nice desert habitat. Now, the cockroaches, I think I, I tried to put a lot of them in here. We're probably not going to find them. I mean, who puts like a 4x4 four four meter habitat for cockroaches? Oh. I think I see one. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, if there was one of those in my house, I, I think I would move countries. Anyways, now we're going to go into the platypus habitat. Not the best viewing, in my opinion. Whoever designed this was kind of a fool for, for making the water this deep. But listen, okay, I... It's... It happens. It happens. You know, what can you do? Maybe they'll swim for us, so it'll at least be worth our while. I promise you, if uh, if you just are able to fly a little bit, you know, higher, if you're really tall, you get a better viewing. Are they not going to come in the water for us? Oh, no, they are. Yes. See? Totally cool. I don't think it's deep enough for them to deep dive, which is really annoying because, like, it clearly is. But, uh, hey, at least you can see them float. Thanks, I guess, for that. But it is a nice habitat. They've got a couple of waterfalls that cascade down. Again, oh, we have clipped through the roof into the night of the Australian desert. That's... I didn't, I didn't want to finish this tour anyways. 
you can get a nice view if you're up a little bit higher. Maybe something I'll consider is doing like a viewing gallery up here uh, where you can kind of like sit a little bit higher so you can see them like this. Uh, it's probably be a good idea. I just thought of it now. Probably won't happen, but we'll see. Let's exit the night cave and turn it back to daytime and finish up the rest of the tour. We have another really fun habitat coming out. This, again, was originally going to be a part of the night house, but I needed to fill in some more empty spaces in the zoo. So instead, it was here. This is the short-beaked echidna, another modded animal. This is the second and final modded animal. Like I said, this was originally supposed to be a part of the night house. And in this spot, there was going to be a brolga. Uh, and it was actually going to be a bigger habitat. So this is shrunk down to fit the echidna. But the brolga mod uh, does not work right now. It's very glitchy and it stands in the ground. I mean, what did I expect? It's an older mod. It's like 1.10. So... That's just how it is. Look at him, he's going under the tree! That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Good job, sir. I mean, it's a nice little habitat for him. I use the same little dog houses as I did for the quokka. Uh, and then they have a bigger shelter in there for them to be cooped up in. Uh, nice and safe, but they do like sleeping in there. I gave him a little scarecrow feeder. I don't know why. I think it's just really cute. Um, I know they can't really, like, reach it, but I hope they just claw at him. Just because that, that's, that's just fun, right? Like... We're here for a, a good time, not a realistic time. But I do like their habitat. It's very, very simple, but effective, I think. And I believe that might have been our last animal. Hold on a minute. Yeah, we're back. We're back at the quokka. So that was our last animal. We'll take one last little peek at them again, just because they're so cute. And look at him levitate. Look at him go. Now, I forgot one is burnt to a crisp, so just don't look too hard so you don't see them. Uh, we're not looking for any quokka nuggets today. But what a fun trip to the zoo this has been. Thank you guys for coming along. Can you please Venmo me for your ticket? It, it was kind of an expensive ticket. And, you know, I kind of drove you here and paid for the gas. So it's kind of like, you know, you should probably pay for your own ticket. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming along to this zoo tour. All jokes aside, I am really, really proud of this zoo. This is actually the very first zoo I have ever finished in Planet Zoo. Yes, I have started many projects, as we all have, and as many of you can relate to it, I rarely ever finish one. This is the first 100% complete zoo. So uh, when it is released to the workshop, which it will be when this video is done, go check it out, explore it for yourself, make changes to it. I don't care, you know, just enjoy this zoo as I enjoyed building it. Thank you all so, so much for the support on the last video. It is sitting at over 31,000 views. It is my best performing video on my whole channel and literally doubled my subscriber count more than doubled i mean it's crazy we are sitting at like 1200 subs right now around there and that just blows my mind away i thought that it would take me so long to even get like monetized like that so i cannot thank you guys enough for all of the support all of the new subscribers all of those of you who have stuck with me through this journey thank you guys so much for watching uh, I hope to see you later today, 1 p.m. We're doing our 1,000 subscriber live stream. Be there or be square. We are doing some really fun things. So I'll see you all then. And until next time, goodbye.